I'm looking to be a world champion. If you're in this sport not looking to be a world champion, it's the wrong sport for you. Um, you know, and it also gives uh, me a way to provide for my family. And, um, you know, I don't like uh, taking orders from regular jobs, you know, construction work and stuff. That would be the type of work that I do. So, you know, fighting gives me, you know, that, that edge that I get to do something that I love to do. That happened um, after I fought Jake Shields in World Series of Fighting with a broken arm. I broke it in a fight previous before that. Had surgery, got it fixed. 10 days before my fight, I broke it again. The thing is people don't understand is we don't get sick days. There is no sick days. You know, if you cancel a fight, you don't get paid. You fight, you get paid. It was a big decision, you know, knowing that I didn't fight, well, it'd probably be a year before my next paycheck. This is my job. Um, so, talked with coaches, talked with my family, and I decided, hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. I got three people that need to eat before I do. So nobody else is gonna pay my bills, nobody else is gonna feed them except for me. So I took that fight, didn't come out my way, but I do gotta say, I dropped them with a jab within the first 30 seconds. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It happened. Um, after the fight, uh, I was get, got back into the gym, uh, let my arm heal, and signed to fight Hushin Okami. Three days before I was going to leave to Thailand to do a training camp, broke it again. There I was like, man, you know, I don't get paid to train. Mixed martial arts is very taxing on your body. Every day, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, boxing, judo, everything. You gotta put this all into one day. The body, you know, breaks down after a little while. There's always that risk involved, you know, this is the fight game. You know, we're not uh, playing ping pong and stuff like that, you know. There's a risk every day that we go to the gym and we train, we lace up those gloves and put on that headgear. You know, there's a risk um, that we're taking there. But you know what, when it's in your heart and it's in your blood, um, it's just something that we do. Thank God we live in Canada. You know, our medical <laughs> expenses are the government's expenses. So, um, you know, we do pay our taxes and whatnot, you know, so we do get that. But, um, you know, the medical is one thing. The rent, the food, the bills, that's another thing that we pay for them. The government don't pay for that. I've had 27 MMA fights and I didn't start making good money till probably my 20th MMA fight. Um, you know, thank God that I had the sponsors that, you know, had my back. But it's not, uh, it's not what people think. People look on, watch TV, you know, and they see the few fighters that, you know, are driving Bentleys, driving, you know, living in mansions. People don't understand, you know, we don't fight every month. People go to work every day and they get a paycheck. Well, we get a paycheck when we fight. And that's usually in mixed martial arts, four to six months, you know? So what happens in between those fights to pay your bills? Cause you got to pay bills every month. In order to provide for your family, you need to train with the best guys, have the best coaches. Going away for training camp, that's the hardest thing, right? You know what, fight camp's hard, fights are hard, but you know, I got a wife and two kids and you know, I'd leave in the morning and uh, you know, I'd give them a hug and a kiss and you know, now they're like, dad, why you gotta leave for so long, right? But I've explained to them and now they understand, well, my daddy has to go to work, you know, because he needs to get better. They're at that age now where they get it, but it's still hard, you know, and it's still hard for me as well because I'm with them every day, day in and day out. It's, uh, every fight's a big fight, you know. Uh, you can't, if it's, it doesn't matter if it's a world title fight or if it's your first or second, third, fourth fight. To me, every fight puts you on the map because 
people only remember you from your last fight. You gotta understand one thing, it's a sport, but it's also a business and it's an entertainment business. People wanna be entertained. If you don't bring that entertainment to the sport, you could be one of those guys that are just sitting on the shelves. Now don't get me wrong, a few things have happened here in this last little bit watching uh, mixed martial arts where I don't believe guys deserve to be where they are because there's a lot of guys who've been putting in the work. But then again, you put people in seats, you're gonna be that guy. If you can talk the talk, and walk the walk, your bank account's gonna be full. The goal is, you know, world champion and that million dollar payday. You know, it's there. Um, I just know I just gotta keep grinding and it can happen. Um, you know, and now being at Howard Grants, I believe that they're gonna take me to that next level, that I know where I belong. And I know I belong with the best guys in the world. You know, I've started boxing a little bit late, but I've improved so much in the time that I've been boxing that I can hang with these guys. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm giving it my all. I'm gonna give it my all, you know, I, I never go 50%, you know, it's always 120, you know, cause there's thousands of guys out there that want exactly what I want. So I know that I gotta outwork them, and, you know, and that's what I'm gonna do.